Hey, welcome back. Let's say an attacker gets into the environment. One of the first things they're gonna to wanna to do is go find somebody that has administrative privileges so that they can move laterally and try to exfiltrate data out of the environment, right? Well, a common technique to do that is credential dumping, where they might go out to a Windows server or a Windows workstation and attempt to dump credentials from the LSAS process on Windows. Well, I wanna show you how attack surface reduction rules built right into Windows 10 and Windows Server can actually block that and prevent it from happening. So let's jump into it and take a look. Stop. What I'm about to do is effectively hack my own system. Now, what I'm doing is in a controlled lab environment that I own and I have full control over. Please do not try this at home. And if you do, I am not held liable for your actions. Okay, let's get back to the demo. Attack surface reduction rules. Now, I like these because they're built right into Windows, and I'll put a link in the video description to where you could find this article. But as you scroll through the article, you will start to see where these uh, can be used, and then you'll see which versions of Windows they're supported in. So Windows 10 Pro, 1709 or later, Windows 10 Enterprise, 1709 or later, Windows Server, 1803 or later, and Windows Server, 2019. And when you scroll through this, you will start to see all of the different rules. Now, I'll do videos on other, other rules over time, but I wanna show you this one. Block credential stealing from the Windows Local Security Authority subsystem. All right, so this rule prevents credential stealing by locking down the LSAS service. LSAS authenticates users who sign in on a Windows computer. Microsoft Defender Credential Guard in Windows 10 normally prevents attempts to extract credentials from LSAS. However, some organizations cannot enable Credential Guard on all of their computers because of compatibility issues with custom smart card drivers or other programs that load into the local security authority. So in these cases, attackers can use hack tools like Mimikatz to scrape clear text passwords and NTLM hashes from LSAS. So this rule, uh, you're going to use this when you can't use Credential Guard. So I'm going to go down here, I'm going to find the GUID, and it ends in 4B2, and we're gonna go enable this. Now, one quick note here. To enable this, I can use Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, I can use uh, GPO, I can use PowerShell, I can use System Center Config Man. For my lab, we're just gonna use PowerShell. Now, right now, I have this rule set to disable because I wanna show you what credential dumping actually looks like. So here inside Task Manager, I'm gonna look at the LSAS.exe process and we're just going to right click on that process and we're gonna to choose to create a dump file. And when I create that dump file, it's going to dump it out to a directory. And there you can see it was successfully dumped. And here's the directory it dumped it to. And you can see the file size is 55 KB, 55,000 KB rather, and uh, it is indeed uh, a dump. And so that's one way. The second way I'm gonna do this is by running a, uh, another command and dump it out. And that's gonna go straight to a temp directory. And there you can see that temp directory has the dump as well. And then uh, I'm gonna remove that. Whoops, I'm gonna remove that file. And then I'm going to run another command. Whoops, <laughs> fat fingering this here. I'm gonna run another command to use proc dump. And proc dump is going to also generate a dump and there you can see the dump. So we just dumped credentials from memory uh, onto disk. Now what I just showed you is what's called living off the land techniques where I'm not actually installing any malware like Mimikatz or anything to be able to do this. So how do we block this and prevent it? Well, that's what the ASR rule. So I'm going to run a command here to enable the attack surface reduction rule. So basically it's set-mp preference. We're gonna have that GUID, remember it ends in 4B2, and we're gonna set it to enable. Now, once we enable it, I'm going to remove that dump file so we can have a nice, fresh, clean slate to work with here from both temp directories. And then we're gonna go through and do this again. So within task manager, we're going to right click on the, ta on the process, create dump file, and then it immediately exits, and look at that. It gets created, but it actually is 0 KB, so it's it's empty. There's nothing in it, right? So I can sit here and open it, and there's nothing in it. Uh, let's go ahead and run some of the other commands that I showed you. So let's run proc dump. Look at that, access denied from proc dump. Now, uh, over here, if I refresh, nothing even happens. 
it was denied access to even create that file. And then the other command for living off the land, there it is. Now it creates the file, but again, it's zero KB, it's empty. And if I open it, uh, it's empty. So there you go. That is ASR rules in action to actually uh, stop credential dumping from happening. Now, to enable this, I'm using PowerShell. You could also use GPO. You can use Endpoint Manager, System Center Config Man, a uh, number of different tools there. As you can see, it's pretty easy. There's not much to it. Please read the documentation just to make sure there's not going to be any compatibility problems with attack surface reduction and this particular rule. Now, if you are running Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, you can run advanced hunting queries to go and look at the effectiveness of this rule and be able to run reports. You could even add exclusions as well. And that's just a, a way to uh, uh, centrally manage it. And remember, you can also roll this out using PowerShell, GPO, Microsoft Endpoint Manager, System Center Configuration Manager. Okay, I've got some more videos coming on this topic around credential theft, so stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.